Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kyle. One of the very first things that got me into the sport of mountain biking when I was a kid was a video game called Downhill Domination. In that game, not only could you just huck these massive cliffs and race down downhill trails, but you had access to a bike shop where you could pick different parts and upgrade bikes along the way. Being a young kid with no hope of getting one of these nice bikes, that was a dream come true for me. One of the bikes that I would always drool over and pick in the game was a Carpiel Armageddon or Apocalypse. It was basically indestructible and it had 12 inches of travel so you could do anything you wanted on it. And today that dream of riding one of those finally comes true. Today we're gonna take this beast out. We're gonna go ride some different trails. We are also gonna do a timed run on it on G19 and see how it hangs with some of the other bikes, but I don't expect this to be very fast. I think it's mostly just for hucking off cliffs. And compared to the bike I ride all the time, it's 25 pounds heavier. 54. <laughs> it's got 24 inch wheels and 3.0 tires instead of 29 inch wheels. It has double the amount of suspension travel and it has a 17 inch high bottom bracket, which is pretty unbelievable. When you're on it, it feels like you're kind of riding a horse. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how it rides on the trail. I'm so excited for today. and I just can't wait to see what it's like. And to make this all kind of fit together, I reached out to my friend JP at Pit Viper and he sent us some pretty awesome gear. So with that being said, all right, so I feel pretty much as indestructible as the bike. Let's do this. What do you think about the sizing? Looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably gonna be my favorite day on a bike, maybe ever. For people who've watched the last two retro videos we did, we're actually gonna start on a little bit different trail and play around on some bigger jumps for a bit. So you're going straight to hucking it? Yeah, <laughs> what else would you do? <laughs> I have so much armor on, I'm ready to go. You're not gonna pedal up? This isn't the most efficient to pedal. I could be wrong though. <laughs> the funny thing about this fork is it was actually basically an old motorcycle fork off of a, I think a gas gas. It's 12 pounds and the modern forks are closer to five. It's a beast and anytime you try to pull up the front wheel, it just drops like a boat anchor. It'll be weird to see how it jumps. At least I don't feel restricted at all. <laughs> all right, so we're at the top of the hill. I'm gonna run down to the start of this trail called Rabid Badger. We'll just kind of cruise down there for a sec with GoPro and then start sessioning some of those bigger jumps. I have no idea what to expect on this thing. <laughs> Oh my god! The front end is so far out there. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> is that everything you dreamed? Sorry. It is so weird. It's hard to explain, but the front wheel is so far out in front of you that when I turned up there, it felt like I was like, whoa. <laughs> and the 24 inch wheels feel funny, but. We got to the top of G19, which is the start of the black trail. We're gonna use this as a time run a little bit later, but if we split off to the left here, there's a trail called Rabid Badger and it has some cool jumps on it. We're gonna see how this thing flies. I'm really curious for one, to see how this thing hits the jumps. And then for two, there's a pretty fun rock garden down here and G19 later. And, uh, I don't know what it's gonna be like riding through that with the 24 inch wheels. Let's give it a shot and see how it flies. Oh, these tires are so sketchy. That was insane. That was sick. These tires are definitely not up to speed with today's today's offerings. There's, it just feels like I'm right on the edge of washing out kind of the whole time, but that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's work down, try to hit some more jumps and stuff, and then just kind of put this thing through its paces. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, baby.
You like that goon air? <laughs> this thing's so fun and uh, it honestly it just like sails through the air. It's so heavy. It, I don't feel like I get kicked dead sailor at all. It's just straight. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what it's like through the rocks. So we'll kind of hike back up and hit some of the stuff on G19, some of the rockier sections. This is going to be hard to hike up. It's going to be hard for you to hike up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, no! No! <sighs> this bike is so heavy. It was hard just hiking up normally. The 24 inch wheels do not roll over stuff very good. I'm gonna probably die on this. No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> this is the most intense bike I've ever had to hike up a hill. It is so gnarly. Oh, okay, we're gonna see how it goes through the rocks. Oh, please work. Okay. I feel so high off the ground. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, that was insane. I seriously felt like once the bike started going, I was just on for the ride. And uh, it's so weird being so high off the ground too with the high bottom bracket, but that was sick. <laughs> How'd the brakes feel? Uh, it's impossible to stop. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's just such a heavy bike. Like you're trying to slow down so much. And also with the wheels, like just kind of, you're not sure where they are on the ground or if they're in the air and it's pretty funny. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little gap here in the rock garden and I'm gonna try to get that and see if I can get it. If I case it, I feel like I won't even know. So, <laughs> so we'll see if I can just get this little gap. This is probably the sketchiest I've ever felt. The sketchiest I've seen. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think that's the sketchiest I've seen. It looked like you were going to go over the bars on that rock roll. Yeah, really it, felt, close. it felt it, like it. Tiny bit of hang. I honestly, I don't know how people rode these. I feel like I'm just on a runaway train, but it's yeah, fun. It's fun watching you. Really? Yeah, Try I'm to... glad it's not me. Yeah, we'll have you on it next time. No. <laughs> Unless you really don't want to. I'm not riding this trail. Sage fright or, uh, or no. uh, shake and bake? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to do the bridge though. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be the slowest bike so far, but it might not be. Yeah. We'll just have to see how it turns. <laughs> Send it! not the trail. <laughs> Were you just excited on the drop or you couldn't stop? What was that? I really want to try to use all the travel. Oh, okay. But I, I almost made it. I got like one inch left. So I just decided to kind of huck it. <laughs> but yeah, you can't slow down. I think what's funny is when you land that deep into all the travel, it has so long of it unweighting coming up. And so like you can't break because you're unweighting as you're coming up. Right. You know, it's weird. But this is for fun. <laughs> it's sick. I just like sending it. There's like a fun flat rock garden we can hit and just for fun hit that and then we'll kind of cruise down to the truck and then do a full run. All right. Oh my Kyle. Oh my god. That was gnarly. You're like an inch away from going over. <laughs> 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 I thought it would be cool to try to like manual it, but it I did not do good. Oh, that was a manual. I didn't know it was on purpose though. <laughs> a little bit was. Yeah, okay, that, that the, makes me less scared. The idea was on purpose. The execution was not the best. <laughs> All right. Let's go, let's get in the truck and do this before I get hurt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I am, I'm really curious to see how this goes. We're gonna hit this run. I feel like the Banshee did a 239 on this trail and I feel like I could beat that on this, I think. 
Um, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't know, only one way to find out and let's head up to the top and see how it goes. I honestly have no idea what to expect. The Banshee was a 239. The Intense was a 229. We'll see if I can get somewhere in between there. I think that would be a really good run. So I wait till 10, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, get it. Ah! <laughs> Downhill domination. This thing's sick, it pedals so good. I just have to remember that 24 inch wheels are not really my friend. Oh my god. Okay, the reason they did 24s for anyone wondering is the old wheels were so flexy that if you ran a smaller rim, you got shorter spokes, it'd be a lot better. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'll pay attention a little better. Okay. This thing's so sick. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that was sick. I feel so high off the ground. Okay, okay, really? Oh, 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 <laughs> that was so sick. That was pretty good. Oh, this thing is a beast. Oh my god, super monster. It's so weird not being able to really feel feel the ground like I'm normally used to. Oh, I'm giving it. I think this will be faster than the Banshee. That's a good run so far. Kind of losing the front brake though. Oh, every time I land, it takes so long to recompose. No man held this time on the rocks. Nice. Oh, this thing is so heavy. Oh my god. Come on, Armageddon. It is so heavy. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Nice. This seat is so comfortable. <laughs> I'm pedaling. Have a good run. Oh, come on. Oh, in the leaves. Oh, oh, that was so fun. This bike is sick. That was a really good run. That was really fun. This thing is sick. The frame is so stiff, and every time I pedaled, it was right where I wanted it to be, and it's so weird landing and then having so much unweighting it's hard to get yourself under control again all right let's go meet up with april that was a fun run yeah yeah that was super fun i think i did somewhere around like a 225 and yeah that was a blast and i felt like i was racing in the video game <laughs> and uh yeah i just need to learn a few more tricks and i'll be ready for downhill domination Awesome, I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, thanks for filming too. It was super fun. Like, I hope everyone watching enjoys the series. It's kind of just, when I was a kid, I didn't have much money and there's no way I could have afforded any of this stuff. And I always just daydreamed about it. So I'm hoping a few people can live vicariously through this. And uh, it's just fun to like send it on the old stuff and really kind of feel like a kid again. Okay, that was probably one of the funnest and also probably one of the hardest days I've had in a long time. And I definitely got sketchy a few times. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. <laughs> Um, if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos, let me know. I know that Jordan Boostmaster, he built up a really similar bike and it'd be really fun maybe to ride together one time and just have a battle of the uh, OG bikes. <laughs> it, was, it was so fun and it's just crazy how different every bike is. I think this series has been a really big eye opener for me and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. No matter what bike you're on, it's still fun the whole time and that's all that really matters. So thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later and I uh, hope you have fun riding. What do you think? It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's weird with the little wheels, huh? Yeah. Feels like a, like a fake dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they're going for. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick. This is going to be cool. <laughs>